The aim of this drill is realigning quickly to take the ball at pace. In the pressure cooker drill, we're aiming to realign quickly and scan the defence to work out where the spaces are and the mismatches are. In drill one, mark out a 10 metre square. Make four attackers line up opposite one side and they pass the ball along the line. The last player puts the ball down on the corner. The players realign to attack the next edge, running towards the box. They continue along all four sides. Swap directions after all the players have had a go. Progress this drill by having two defenders mark the middle two players. The key points for this drill is that the player should have their outside foot forward to look in before they start to run. They need to give a clear target with their hands for the pass. They need to run towards the pass as well as forward. And they should hold their run until after the inside player moves off. In Hands out to meet the ball is a good technique, but it needs to have a natural feel. What we're going to see here is that the players are reaching for the ball, but it's where they take it in comparison to their body. In each case so, case so far, the player has taken it in front and to the side. What we're going to see here, this player here will put it to this side and struggle to get the last pass away. However, in this last section here, all the players self-correct and the ball moves out nice and swiftly to the final player. And again, players reaching for the ball, easy to move the ball and load the pass. This player here takes the ball to the side, moves it easily out. And then just watch this player here. Previously he's taken the ball there. Now he's going to finish off taking the ball there and make this last pass here more difficult. The player self-correct and two lovely passes to get the ball to this third player. Flick and across and through. In drill two, set up a narrow box next to a much wider box. Put three defenders into the box with another defender next to the attack. Put two attackers opposite the defender with a scrum half and four players behind them. The scrum half passes out the attackers behind him, one of whom drives into the bag holders. This attacker goes to ground and another player clears the bag holder out of the way. In the meantime, all the other players move into the wider box, which we could call the quick ball zone. Get the nine to pass out the ball when his team is ready. You can get the bag holders to drop their bags, or perhaps one to just drop his bag, or both to hold on to their bags. This is helpful for creating mismatches. Yeah. In this particular drill, use full tackling. Remember, the aim of this drill is for the players to quickly realign and to scan where the defence are standing and where the mismatches and spaces are. The key points are, scan the defence as the players run into position. The ball carrier should preserve the space running at the inside shoulders of the defenders and players should be identifying mismatches. <laughs> Thank you.
look at the setup in a little bit more detail. What I'm going to do is have two players here. They're going to be support runners. We've got some players here to take the ball into the short uh, contact area. So a ball carrier is going to go into here. He's going to have some support to clear out. The scrum half is going to pass the ball into a wider area over here. In the meantime, three of these players are going to come into the wider area. One or two of them might drop the bags. One might keep a bag. So these players have got to scan to see where the mismatches are. Check out maybe where the bag carrier is and attack him because he can't tackle. And it's about uh, scanning and reading what the defence do. So we just run that through. Ball is passed into the narrow area. Ball carrier goes into contact. One player comes in to support. Immediately these players come into the wider area. And this nine here has got to scan and start looking for mismatches. There's a mismatch here. But what you can see is the defence is drifting across, so they've taken up all that space, and eventually eight is taking the ball right on the edge of the limits and out to five. So really we'd want to try and encourage them to run a bit straighter there. Poor execution on the end of the pass. So we see that through again. A couple of different sets of work. Coming in head first, he probably could have turned his body a bit better there. This player here takes out any threat which is in the way. The defenders are going to come across. Good ball presentation. It's going to go out very quickly. But are these players going to preserve the space? And you can see they're drifting away from the pass. These defenders can move across. And the player on the end is taking the ball too wide. They could have been a lot tighter with their running angles. Yeah.